let me also put you guys onto something the first fourteen thousand three hundred and ninety eight dollars you earn in canada is tax free because that's just you earning fourteen thousand dollars without actually paying taxes on that amount so do what you would like with that information hey guys it's your girl we screen back again with another video if this is your first time here thank you so much for joining please consider subscribing below and ensure you turn the post notification bell on on this channel i share information on personal finance fashion and lifestyle and if you're a returning subscriber you know the vibes please give this video a thumbs up don't hesitate to leave a comment below and don't forget to share with your friends as well as you can see from the title in today's video i'll be sharing with you guys 10 ways to legally reduce your taxes yep you heard that right yes there are several ways for you to take advantage of the loopholes in the tax laws and reduce your taxes so today we'll be talking about some of them so without further ado guys let's get started so the first way would be to make contributions to a retirement account in canada it's called rsp and in the u.s it's called 401k so making contributions to a retirement plan would allow you to reduce your taxable income right now and defer your taxes to a future date and one of the best things about utilizing this medium would be that you can actually invest those funds in that account into any kind of investment you prefer and whatever profit or gains you make on that investment would be tax free isn't that exciting the second way for you to reduce your taxes would be to register an incorporation so a lot of wealthy people take advantage of this because businesses pay lesser taxes than individuals and individuals and businesses are considered as two separate entities which means they are seen as individual taxpayers and different tax situations could apply for a business most business expenses are tax deductible so you can incur like traveling expenses it could be regular operating costs it could be office expenses almost anything for a business is tax deductible whereas for individuals there is a gray area as to the amount of things that you can write off as tax expenses or tax deductions so um what a lot of people tend to do is to register an incorporation and put in most of those expenses it could be traveling costs it could be gas it could be insurance it could be anything and put those expenses in their incorporation just make sure it's something very reasonable i also know that not everybody have the skill or um, knowledge to own or run a business you might not have the entrepreneurial mindset which is completely fine but you might have a side hustle you might be a brand on your own you might also be a content creator it could be anything that you offer as service that you don't know you could actually register a business or even if you had registered a business you registered a self-employed business meanwhile you should be taking advantage of registering an incorporation so definitely consider doing that the third way for you to legally reduce your taxes would be to take advantage of tax credits. The Canadian government or the CRA has a whole list on eligible tax credits that you can take advantage of. Definitely take a deep dive and research to look into that list. If you take advantage of tax credits like donations, so when you make donations, you can reduce your taxes by doing that. There's also HST GST credit or GST HST credit, anyhow it's called. It's also a very great way for you to reduce your taxes. There's also Ontario Trillium benefits. There are a lot of tax credits that people are not even aware of. So definitely do a quick research and know which one would fit your tax situation. Another way for you to legally reduce your taxes would be tax deductions. If you had seen my previous video, which I'll link up here, you would have learned that tax credits and tax deductions mean two different things. So tax deductions would be able to reduce your taxable income and by so doing, you'll be in turn reducing your taxes. So what are some tax deductions you can take advantage of? Home office expenses, moving costs, childcare expenses. There are a long list of them. I would link it in the description box so you can take a look at them and see which one would best fit your situation. The fifth way for you to reduce your taxes would be to contribute to your children's education plan. So if in Canada it's called RESP, that's Registered Education Savings Plan, what this allows parents to do is to contribute for their children's future education for maybe like college or university or medical school. And by contributing into that account, they would be able to reduce their taxes. So take advantage of this if you have a child and you'd like to sponsor their education in the future, 
definitely do this and another very interesting thing about this plan is that whatever investment you put that funds into is tax-free so definitely take advantage of that number six on my list would be to hire a family member yep i said it it's very very legal and you're allowed to hire a family member so just make sure it's something that makes sense you're keeping a paper trail and whatever you're paying your family member which could be your child or your spouse is reasonable so you can hire them to be like your assistant you can also hire them to be like managing your social media business or if you have a brand you can also hire them as like assistant content creator it could be anything that you're hiring your child for as long as it's something that relates to your business and it's going to in a way generate revenue for your business you can definitely do that and also hiring a family member is definitely a great way for you to sustain and maintain generational wealth so if you see big corporation owners hiring or putting their spouse their kids at top positions in the organization even when they know them well that they are not eligible for those roles or they don't particularly have the skills this is the trick they are just trying to maintain the wealth within the family so you can also take advantage of this this is not only left to wealthy people it's just that a lot of people don't know that they could do this let me also put you guys onto something the first fourteen thousand three hundred and ninety eight dollars you earn in Canada is tax-free so if your child happened to have earned that amount of money during the tax year 2022 then you would not be paying any taxes on it or even if they pay taxes on it right now the taxes would be refunded by the time they file their taxes in the coming year which makes a lot of sense it's a very good way for you to reduce your taxes because that's just you earning fourteen thousand dollars without actually paying taxes on that amount so do what you would like with that information a great way for you to also reduce your taxes would be to take advantage of employer benefits so some employer would offer to match your RSP contribution and remember we said if you make RSP contribution you'll be reducing your taxable income so like if your employer is offering to match your RSP contribution not only are you making more money by doing that or accepting that offer you're also going to be reducing your taxes because instantly your taxes would not be charged on that portion of your payroll so consider doing that and also some companies would offer to allow you bank your overtime hours so if that's also an opportunity at your corporation or where you work definitely take advantage of that because overtime hours are usually taxed at a higher rate and if you choose the option to bank it for later days when you are not working as much you are instantly reducing your taxes so do what you'd like with that information as well another way for you to reduce your taxes would be to save in a tax savings account so unlike your regular savings account where whichever funds you put you get interest on it and the interest would still be subject to taxes if you had saved in a tax save free savings account you would not be paying taxes on that portion and interestingly if you also invest with the tax-free savings account whatever dividends or gains you are getting from that investment would not be taxed so definitely run to your bank or whichever financial institution you're using decide to open a tax-free savings account utilize that don't just use your regular savings account just take advantage of the tax-free savings account number nine on my list would be to not sell an asset or reinvest the capital gains so say for instance you own a property and you sold your property instead of taking out the gains that you made just go invest it in another property that way you are building your wealth if you also get dividends from your investment just go for the option of reinvesting that dividend or invest the funds into another stock don't withdraw the cash because once you withdraw the cash you could be subject to capital gains tax except you have invested in tax sheltered accounts then you might be protected from paying taxes on your gains we're almost at the end so the last item on my list would be to hire a tax professional so if your tax situation is not that complex maybe it's very straightforward you can decide to do your taxes yourself but if you have like a more complex situation like you have a business you have a family you have a spouse that also has another business you can consider hiring a professional to help you file your taxes because they probably have more knowledge and exposure regarding benefits tax deduction tax credits that you could take advantage of and that you are not possibly aware of so 
consider hiring a tax professional that could help you file your taxes and also and you can definitely save some change for yourself but definitely weigh the options if you think that your situation doesn't necessarily require for you to hire a tax professional then you can just save your change and file your taxes yourself anyway guys that's pretty much it for this video if you learned something new please smash the like button if you are yet to subscribe please consider subscribing right away turn the post notification bell on as well and i'll see you guys in my next video in the meantime stay confident bye guys